What up, fellas? So, this one right here might be the most important video that I've done. All right, somebody asked me this question. I'm surprised I ain't nobody else been asking me this. Somebody asked me this question like last week or week before that. And so, I, I want to get around to it today because this right here, guys, is what's going to set you free. All right, you know, the strategies are good and all this, that, and the other, and, it's, and they find it's right. But when you are trying to monetize your passion and your purpose, you're going to be fucking free. And let me tell you something, guys. Even if you're still working on somebody else's job, when you got your own business that you're building on the side, I'm telling you guys, it's like a sense of pride. All right. The only time it's not a sense of pride if, is when you are unrealistic. It's when you expect your business to pop off in six months. All right. Or you to be on lifestyles of the rich and famous in six months. All right. But when you're realistic and you say, man, you know, this might take five years before I'm making some real money. A lot of businesses, guys, they are in the red probably for up to, you know, three, four, five years, sometimes even longer than that. All right before they got them going to black all right so before they start turning a profit so that's the first thing you guys need to understand about starting a business is you need to be realistic and give yourself a probably about a five-year game plan five year of being realistic before you probably turn in some real money i ain't saying it's gonna take you five years to turn a profit but it might take you the first year guys you're gonna be in the red all right you can just cancel it you're gonna be in the fucking red try to minimize it as much as possible but guys this is a long-term investment if I go out and I go, let's say I hypothetically say I do real estate, and let's say I hypothetically I go out and buy a seven hundred thousand dollar house, I'm gonna be in the red a long time on that house if I'm trying to mortgage it out, unless I'm trying to just flip it. But let's say hypothetically that I just want to rent that, I'm gonna be in the red a long time before I turn a profit on my seven hundred thousand dollar house. All right, so that's the thing on that, guys. You got to be prepared to be in the red for a little while to turn a profit. All right, it's called investing for a reason. It ain't called quick flip. All right, so here's the thing, guys. If you're gonna open up a business today, what I recommend is to do an LLC. All right, obviously you don't want to do a fucking corporation. You're not a corporation. A corporation is like when you got like 50 employees or more or something like that. It, it depends on what state you're in. All states are different. So you want to do an LLC. All right, and it's important to do this LLC, especially if you are um, doing a service or a product. All right, because you want to protect yourself. All right. That means that you're gonna be uh, have uh, limited liabilities, guys. I got three LLCs. I got LLC with Alpha Male Strategies. I got LLC with my security company. I got LLC with my personal training. All right. That means that if somebody was to sue me, all they I would be on the line for is what I got into my business bank account. That's what I would be on the line for. All right. Now, of course, with my security company and my uh, training. I have insurance, you have insurance on those. All right, you gotta have insurance in New York City to have a security company, and you gotta have insurance in New York City to do personal training and have an LLC, all right? So you gotta have insurance on those, all right? So you protect it with those anyway, all right? But with Alpha Male Strategies, I don't have to have insurance, but I'm protected through the LLC. And so first thing you wanna do, guys, if what I recommend, and I, you know, you could do this on your own, you don't need them, so I recommend you call LegalZoom. All right? And the reason I like LegalZoom is they send you this little package. And it's a package that walks you through step by step. It's not a lot of steps. But if you ain't never did now, it could be kind of complex. I done did three of them, so obviously it's easy to me. But if you ain't did one, it's good to have them walking you through these steps like that. All right? So you're going to have to file uh, with the state. All right? You're going to have to file with the state. And they do that for you. See, LegalZoom do that for you. LegalZoom filed the LLC with the state for you, all right? So you don't even have to worry about that. So up here in New York, uh, they filed through Albany. So you have to file through the state for your LLC license. And then they send a little package. And, and you got to go through the publishing, uh, with publishing, publishing your uh, company through a newspaper and all that bullshit. That's simple. But the most important thing, guys, is you're going to have to open up a business bank account, all right? And that is very critical. And if you can, if you got good enough credit, get a business credit card, all right? Now, with the business bank account, guys, it's very important. And I recommend that if you, to use two different banks. So let's hypothetically say you bank with Chase, with your personal bank account. I, I advise you to bank your other business 
uh, credit a business account with another company. So do that with like Bank of America or Citibank or whatever the case may be. I don't recommend you putting them in the same bank. All right, you want them to kind of be different. And the reason I know I know that guys is because I've trained lawyers and stuff like that. I train a lawyer right now and stuff like that. And they advise me on shit like this. So you don't have to do it, but he advised me. He sued people. So trust me, I listen to him. All right. So you want to separate your, your banks. All right. It's not mandatory, but I would recommend it. All right. So and in the bank account, guys, is you go, you want to do a business bank account, checking account, and you want to do a savings account. All right. And now how I do mine is I gone already and I separate where I know my taxes going to gonna be. So in my savings account, my business savings account, I put what I know my tax is going to be. So generally speaking, I'm, me, I'm going to be in a high tax bracket. So I'm going to be anywhere from like 30 to 35 percent. So I, me, myself, I should save 30 percent into my business savings account. And then I put all the money into my checking account. All right. So into my business checking account and I pay myself a salary. All right. So let's hypothetically say off Alpha, uh, Alpha Male Strategies, everything with the Skype sessions, the books. Uh, everything YouTube, Patreon, everything. Let's say hypothetically, let's just throw a number. Let's just say a hundred thousand dollars, right? All right. So a hundred thousand dollars, I will put thirty thousand of that into my savings account because I know that's going to be taxed. All right, so tax. And out the rest, I will pay myself a salary. So let's say I did hundred. Let's say I did a uh, hundred thousand. I say I want to pay myself a salary of forty grand a year. All right. So thirty grand. Thirty grand go to the savings account for my taxes. 40 grand, I'm gonna transfer over to my personal account for that's what I'm paying myself a salary. And the rest I leave into the checking account. And with that, I could just say this is for marketing or whatever the case may be, or anything, little ins and outs. All right. So now with that being said, let's hypothetically say somebody was to sue me, they would be entitled to what's in my savings account and my checking account. All right, guys. And my savings account is for my taxes, but if I get sued, they can get that too, and I'll just be on I'll be a, uh, on the hook for my own damn taxes, all right? So, but that's how I go. So you wanna separate it like that, and I advise you guys, that if you're gonna do a business, take these taxes very very seriously, all right? I don't see people getting themselves fucked up, playing around with these taxes, take the taxes very seriously. So if you're gonna be in a high tax bracket, make sure you're taking out 30%, all right? It's very serious, guys, all right? With Patreon and YouTube and uh, PayPal and all that shit, they make me fill out a W-9, electronic W-9, so the IRS knows what you fucking getting, so they don't need to try to fucking hide it, all right? Because with, these, with all these companies, they make you fill out an electronic W-9, sign your signature, so the IRS is already well aware with, so don't even don't even try to play with them. They already know what you're getting, so don't even play with them, all right? And guys, why would you want to anyway? Because, listen, if you're making money, what's the point of making money if you can't go and buy what you want to buy? I can't go out and buy a $700,000 house if I don't report my income, all right? In order for me to, if you want to make purchases like that, like I drive a Mercedes out here, I ain't going to the car lot and they just took my word that I made a lot of money. They wanted to see some fucking tax returns. All right. They wanted to see my bank account. So that, so that's how that work, guys. If you if you if you're gonna be making money and you're doing things, what's the point of making money if you can't buy nothing what you want to? Yeah, you might can go to the basketball game or you might buy some clothes, but what if you want to make a major straw purchase? What if you want to buy a house? What if you want to put down on a house? What if you want to put down on a nice car? All right, you're gonna need all these things for proof of income. So don't fuck around with your taxes because in the end you end up being yourself. All right, you just you never more, are more than a fucking drug dealer. You can't report your income and shit like that because you don't want to pay taxes, you cheap motherfucker. All right, so take your taxes serious, guys. All right, you want to be able to buy nice things, you want to be able to invest in other things, real estate. You're gonna need proof of fucking income. So don't be trying to fuck around with the IRS. All right, so. All right, so now that you done got that out of the way, guys, now you need to brand yourself, all right? Branding yourself is going to be uh, your logo and things like that, all right? So y'all see my logo. I, I brand everything, all right? So you want to get a logo, and uh, that's going to be your brand, all right? Your logo and your name, all right? And, and, and you know, you can do what you want to do, guys. I don't advise y'all guys using your government name. A lot of people got an ego and they want to see their name and uh you know uh, Richard Hamilton 
in incorporated and all this other bullshit because they love, they want to get a little ego boost out their name. Guys, come up with a catchy name like Jiffy Lube or some. The guy who owned Jiffy Lube, he could have put that in his name. It's not catchy. Alpha Male Scratch is way more catchy than my fucking government name, all right? So when you see people who have used their government name trying to get a little ego boost because they want to see their name every fucking well, all right? It's, it's not going to be as good as if you brand your fucking name, like Jiffy Lube. Uh, now, I know Walmart, Sam Walter, he named Walmart is, you know, after him, but he put his Walmart. It ain't Walton and family, you know what I'm saying? It's Walmart. So he didn't use his whole name. This is very uh, good, guys, for branding, all right? Amazon. You don't see the guy Beast Bowls talking about something. Beast Bowls Incorporated. It's called Amazon. When you come up with a catchy name, when you brand yourself a catchy name, that's much more better than using your government name. All right? I know you probably ain't going to get the ego boost seeing your fucking name everywhere. All right? But how many of y'all guys will want to buy a shirt with my fucking name on it? All right? You'll buy a shirt, Alpha Male Scratch. You don't buy a shirt with my goddamn name on it. All right? So that's the thing with that, guys. Make sure you brand yourself properly and try to think of something catchy that's catchy to people. You know what I'm saying? That's very important. All right? Next thing you need to do is you need to figure out how you're going to uh, promote yourself. All right. And, you know, obviously you want to use social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all that shit. Another thing that's good, guys, depending on what line of work you're in, is Google Ads. Now, you have to pay for those, but they're very good. They help me a lot with my security company because uh, when I was using um, SEOs too, guys, that's search engine optimization. Um, when you certain things you do, guys. Social media don't help that good. Like with my security company, social media didn't really help that good. But the Google ads and the search engine optimization helped a lot with my security company. All right. So with, if, depending on what you're doing, guys, uh, like, but if I use search engine optimization for alpha male strategies, I doubt it will work that good because I don't, I doubt many people go on Google looking for a dating coach, all right? I think people pretty much go on social media or, or YouTube looking for dating advice, all right? So that's the thing, guys. You learn what business you in and figure out how you want to promote it, all right? Make sure I got everything I had. Like, Oh, yeah, and market yourself, guys. Uh, business cards. Business cards and a web page, all right? These things are cheap, guys, all right? Business cards, you can go get like a 1,000 business cards for maybe like 30 bucks or some shit, all right? And you're going to put your logo on there and you're going to put all your contact information on there and you're going to put your business name on there, all that type of stuff, guys. Uh, your website, all these are you marketing yourself, all right? So you need all those to do a business. Now, last but not least, guys, you need to get to grinding, all right? I know y'all watch Lifestyle of the Rich and Famous and you got all these big dreams and aspirations and you're going to go do all that shit and you just think your business is going to grow itself. No, you got to get to grinding, guys. It's a grind, all right? Once you're going to be able to spend all this money and guys, I'm going to tell you right now, most businesses fail, like 90 to 95% of businesses fail the first year because people have unrealistic expectations and you can google those results those results what i just said like 90 to 95 because people have unrealistic expectations they think they're going to be on lifestyle and rich and famous in six months because they had this big plan it don't work that way you need to be into it for the long haul you need to be realistic about your goals all right it won't take you a while all right so it's going to be a sacrifice but guys it's a pride i can't if y'all guys don't have your business and stuff like that you're not grinding on it I'm telling you, it's a pride. Even though you might be in the red, it is a pride and a, and a it's just, it's a feeling I can't give you guys when you have your own fucking LLC. Man, I got my own fucking business. I remember the first time I did my own first LLC, I said, man, I got my own business. I can't, guys, it's a pride that I can't. I said, man, I got my own business. I'm registered with the state. I got my business bank account. You got a card with your business name on it. Oh, man, I, I guys, I can't, I'm telling you, until you do it, I got an employee identification number. That's an EIN, guys. When you file an LLC, you get an EIN. It's like your business social security card. That's a pride, guys. I'm telling you, it's a pride. It's no other feeling in the world. Even though you might be in the red, it's a pride. All right? I, I, I can't really explain that to you to, until you guys get on it and do it. But it's a feeling of pride. And, and, and I wanted to say this to add to this, guys. One of the guys in the comment on the vlog said, Man, that girl uh, submissive as fuck. That's because I'm successful, guys. 
And y'all guys get that. This is why I want you guys to get on your grind. Man, guys, women treat you different when you are successful, guys. All right, it's just that bottom, it's the, it's the bottom line, guys. And when I say successful, I don't mean, you know, it depends on where you at. But if you, if y'all guys could ever make it into that, at least that six figure range, and if you up north or in California to like a quarter million dollar range a year, because the cost of living is so fucking high. Like my apartment right here, guys, I, I pay $3,500 a month up here in New York, all right? And that ain't even considered that high, all right? But it is, it ain't considered cheap either. It's like, it's, it's like, I'm just saying, people that I train in the city, they pay six, $7,000 a month, all right? I'm paying $3,500 a month. So when you, when you get to a certain tax bracket, women treat you fucking different, guys. Of course you're gonna be submissive. She don't wanna miss out, all right? Now, of course, I got some good game and stuff like this, that, and other, but it don't hurt when you're successful, guys. All right? I want y'all to experience this, this, this feeling of owning the world. I own my business. These bitches will do whatever for me. All right? And I carry myself like a high-value male, guys. All right? I want y'all guys to experience that, man. So I get laid out what you need to do to start a business, man. Legal Zoom, or you can do it yourself. It's just gonna be more work. You better off just paying Legal Zoom that little four five hundred dollars. It's, it's not that much, guys. They're gonna do all the groundwork and dirty work for you. They're gonna walk walk you through the bullshit. Get your business, get your business bank account, separate your finances like I fucking told you. Write yourself a fucking salary, promote yourself, market yourself, and brand yourself. All right, get a Catchy ass name for your business. Don't be trying to be all egotistical and put your name. I know everybody want their fucking name in their business or whatever the case. And I'm not saying that it can't work, but I'm just telling you guys, alpha male strategy is catchy as fuck. All right. When you have these catchy ass names, it draws people to it. All right. So that's the thing with that, guys. You want to market yourself, get a good ass logo, brand yourself, start your business, get on the grind, be prepared for the long haul. Don't mind being in the red for a little while. You got your eyes on the go. And guys, when you start this and you building your own business, just understand this. Whoever writing your fucking check, they had to go through this one time. Or maybe the person who started the business is dead. But understand, wherever you working at, somebody a long time ago, or depending on how long the business been, they had to do the same steps you're going right now. Now, let's hypothetically say I build alpha male strategies up to a, a big brand where I got to hire 100 people. Well, I would change it from an LLC to a corporation, all right? So a lot of you guys that are working for corporations, it didn't start out as no fucking corporation. It started out small, and they built it to a fucking corporation. All right, guys? That's the bottom fucking line. So at the end of the day, guys, if you working for somebody, you working for somebody that had the same dream that you got now, and they followed through on it. That's the bottom fucking line, guys. All right, I might be dead and gone. Alpha male strategies might be this big ass corporation. Thirty years from now, handing out dating advice, dating apps, uh, t-shirt, whatever the case may be, and I might be uh, dead or I might just be old or whatever the case may be. But understand it, guys. It started right now. It always starts somewhere. So start to fucking day. All right, day one or one day. You still ready? Still want ready to go back and take another dream, or you ready to get on it? Legal Zoom number, you can Google it. Um, it's real easy to find. It's real easy. They're going to charge you and they'll send you that damn package and you can start two fucking day. Let's get on it, guys. All right. Success is right around the corner. To me, this might be the most important video that I ever done, in my opinion. All right. Because a lot of the shit that y'all are having with women is coming from this right here. And it got nothing. To, I ain't going to lie. The money don't hurt. But it comes from the feeling of self-pride, guys, the ego. Like when I told y'all guys I was out there doing that vlog, I said, man, I got three fucking businesses. I ain't finna be out here cold approaching these bitches. These bitches ought to be cold approaching me. That's why I had a problem with it. I got a fucking ego. Goddamn right I got a fucking ego. That's right, I ain't finna be out here cold approaching these motherfuckers. Man, I got three fucking businesses. Three successful ass businesses I'm doing. I ain't finna be out here fucking cold approaching no goddamn body. These bitches better cold approach me. Alright, when I get up, when I get through making this video, I'm gonna go check the day naps and see who winked at me, who flirted with me. I ain't surfing through no fucking shit trying to find out who who look good and checking no ad, uh, 
I ain't doing that bullshit. I'm going to go on there and check who winked at me, who flirted at me, who sent me a message. All right? That's what I'm going to do. Because I got a fucking ego. I got three fucking businesses, guys. If I got three, you can get one. Let's go. I'm out this motherfucker, man. Like the video. Comment down below. Sleaze ball till we die. Holla back.